Could New Jersey be looking more into nuclear power? New Jersey needs an all the above energy approach. That includes nuclear, that includes natural gas, that includes solar, that includes wind, that includes uh, hydrogen. Democratic Assemblyman Cody Miller is among the first in his party to express interest in bolstering nuclear energy in New Jersey. He's authoring a bill that would direct the State Board of Public Utilities to study feasibility of small modular reactors statewide. Not only do we know that it can be done here in the state of New Jersey, but we have a, a company that can build it that is a South Jersey company, so the stars are kind of aligning with this. Obviously, that's going to get bipartisan support, but the question is, is it too little, too late? Republican Assemblyman Paul Kinitra sits on a GOP energy task force, which applauded Miller's bill in a committee meeting on Monday. Starting June 1st, utility bills will be hiked up to 20% for New Jersey ratepayers, and lawmakers are looking for ways for New Jersey to create more of its own energy. The only plausible future to bring our rates down is to look at nuclear and look at natural gas and look at things from a cost savings perspective. This coming as the Murphy administration signals interest in exploring nuclear energy in the state. The BPU announcing Tuesday a request for information on new nuclear opportunities in the state. Governor Murphy in a statement saying in part, quote, as part of my administration's all of the above energy strategy, we continue to explore ways to bring online new sources of electricity generation and improve and expand our nuclear fleet to grow the supply of resources as the U.S. faces increasing demand. The Salem and Hope Creek generating stations in deep South Jersey continue to operate. Meanwhile, the Oyster Creek site in Forked River was shut down in 2018 and is still in the process of being decommissioned.